Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create infographic from scratch. Infographic will be designed in vector form. So for this purpose, we will be using Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, we will be starting by using ellipse tool and start creating few circles in the middle of the artboard. Press Shift Alt and just drag the cursor. So a uniform circle will be created. Once the circle is created, select the shape and click on horizontal align center and then this here is the option of alignment, vertical align center. So it will, it will centralize the object in the middle of the artboard. You can scale it and scale down depending on your requirement. Now create another duplicate object by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Now another object has been created over this object we can simply scale it down by pressing alt shift and doing the same okay now we have two circles uh, give any other color like this okay now create few more circles by repeating the same procedure control c control f and scale it down somewhere over here and i am giving it another color okay now we have created three circles now in order to give some additional shape to the center and to the middle circle to the smaller circle simply select the option of polygon tool and single click over here and select number of sides as three so it will create a rectangle okay now place the rectangle or triangle over here sorry triangle over here and select both shapes and another click on the circle and now press horizontal align center so it will centralize the triangle now basically uh, we are di distributing the circle into eight portions so i am going to create eight circles ar around eight triangles around these circles so simply select the triangle select this option rotate tool and click in the middle of this circle Okay, now holding the Alt key and just drag the triangle to 45 degree because 360 degree divided by it is almost 45 degree. So we will be distributing the eight triangles uh, with the separation of 45 degree. So we have just created another triangle. Now press Control plus D. So it will repeat the creation of triangles around the circles. Okay, now we have created eight triangles around the circles so select all layers and deselect these two layers and just transform this into one shape by going into pathfinder and select add shapes so now this is only one shape now draw another circle like this give any other color and do the same vertical align center and horizontal align center now this circle is also in the middle of the artboard okay now as we have distributed the eight triangles into eight portions we have to do the same for the rest of the shapes so for this purpose we will be creating using the pen tool click in the center and create one straight line select this line add some stroke give any other color and increase the stroke width i have kept at 10 point stroke now we will be creating eight lines to distribute all the circles into eight portions select the line go to rotate tool again click in the center and move it to 45 degree as we did for the triangle and keep on doing the same Okay, now we have eight separation lines. Now individually select these eight lines. Okay, go to object, expand. Okay, now you have transformed this stroke into an shape. And now you will have to select all the shapes and simply press divide in the pathfinder tool okay 
Now press Ctrl Shift G multiple times to ungroup the objects. Select this option of Magic Wand tool from here, Magic Wand tool, and select on the black portion anywhere in the figure, and simply press Delete. Now you can see that our triangles and our circles are have been distributed into eight portions. Let's start. Uh, let's start with the with removing some portions of circles alternately and we can add this shape we will add this shape select this shape and press add and now these are one shape okay now what I'm going to do I will have to select the blue portion and press I for selecting the eyedropper tool and simply click on this gradient shade do the same for the rest of the shapes okay now select the green color and we can transform it into white Okay, now creating a background for this infographic Control shift square bracket left square bracket it will uh, send the layer at the back select gradient okay select gradient and select these colors for the gradient I have chosen select the background layer pick up the color picker and simply press on this color similarly select the other color and simply press on this shade now we can adjust it as per our requirement okay what we are going to do we will have to create a middle circle let's color these as well and give it white color like this select this circle and do the same uh, go to align tab vertical center and horizontal center and we can increase its size as well we can also add some gradient into it like this and we can also add some strokes some darker strokes for the center we can increase the width of the stroke so there are multiple options that we can do like this okay so we have created uh, the basic shape of the infographic now we will have to incorporate data into it so you can incorporate your, your data whereas I have just already prepared the data to be incorporated in the image let's make it a bit lighter uh, I guess this is better okay so now I have already placed the data on my in my infographic so I will have to just put it accordingly you can make some adjustment and I believe that you must have liked this tutorial and that is very much easier to execute